We were able to turn a $50 profit into $600 in profit by adding uh, some layers of complexity in our sourcing strategy. If you haven't watched the previous video, this is the third or fourth video in the series where we go about how to actually get better at sourcing by using advanced strategy. So if you are just landing on this one, go back to the playlist, go watch the first video or anything like all this stuff is not going to make any sense. But we're able to turn $50 in profit into $200. Was it all $300? Okay. Those $300 of profit, we were able to turn them into $600. All right. Right now, we're going to look at how to turn those $600 in potentially maybe doubling it, maybe not, but at least in $800 with just one sourcing, uh, one order, one one specific sale right so to reiterate all right we found this product that is of course we did not really find this product it was an example okay we found this product okay the mortal kombat one product uh by looking at a couple of sales okay so this is our, 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 our end of opportunity one two three four five sales it took us three hours all right it took us three hours to look at those sales this specific sale right here all right was add some profitable products all right so since it had some profitable products we found 50 dollars of profit that we were able to turn into 300 by sourcing a little bit more by using other strategies to find more leads from this specific sale uh, or i'm sorry by repurchasing leads from that sale over and over again by making sure that the first step was to make sure that we were able to get a sale that was recurring that was coming back every other month at least so we took as an example six times a year so every two months that sale coming back and so since that sale comes back every two months in one year we turn those 50 dollars profit into 300 dollars profit all right by finding more leads so by expanding by let me just do this by expanding by expanding this sale instead of having this small T, 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 just this little profit okay we are going to expand this sale okay to make more profit to find even more lead okay by doing this we we're already able to go to i think it was 800 dollar profit i don't remember 600 probably something like this and of course this was all hypothetical right but you get the idea this is just a theory on how to actually do this okay and so right now we're going to see how to turn this 600 dollars instead of 600 dollars or we are going to be able to make this $800 okay just by doing a couple extra step all right so uh, if you do not know me by the way if you do not know me my name is Chris Mangunza I release daily videos about selling on Amazon so if you are new subscribe like this video and uh, so you get more videos 100% free to scale your Amazon business all right so how would we go about expanding about finding more leads okay finding more leads and expanding this specific opportunity to make more money for that specific opportunity that is going to come over and over again all right so the strategy that we're going to look at right now is using the keeper product finder all right so we found this lead okay it's mortal kombat 1 ps5 game once again i reiterate i will give you a beating i will beat your ass at this game if you want okay do not test me, all right? I played, once again, during my college days, I played a ton of Mortal Kombat, okay? It was Mortal Kombat 10 at that time. But as I said, we are going to use the Keeper Products Finder. So there's a couple of ways to go about it, but here's a, a, a few prerequisites that I like to use with the Keeper Products Finder, especially since what we are looking right now is not one of leads that we are going to buy just one time. And of course, with video games, it's not necessarily going to be the case. Most of the time, the video games lose value over time, all right? So this video game just released so the price is going to go down we do not have a lot of data it's not really going to be the case but this is just an example but let's just assume that it was actually a beauty product okay let's let's assume that it was a beauty product that we found on a sale on macy's all right on macy's a mac cosmetic sale on macy's okay and let's assume that it was this product all right so there's a couple of ways that we can use the, the, the Keeper Product Finder to find more products from this specific sale and potentially to find other products that are not necessarily on sale right now, but that we can add to all lead bank to source profitably, all right? So what we would do is this, all right? So let's assume that we were able to find this product for $6, maybe a little bit more, wait, 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 wait that we were able to find this product for, here we go, $10, not $100, $10, all right? Let's assume that we're able to find this product for $10. So 
64% pro, pro, 64% return on investment. Great product. Okay. What are we going to do with Okipa Product Finder to be able to find more leads potentially from that sale? So there's a couple of there's a couple of ways that you can go about it. Okay. But first, some prerequisite, as I said. When I use the Keeper Product Finder, the first thing that I like to do lately, and this is something that I've just added into my uh, Keeper Product Finder search, is I want to look at products that are that 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 have been selling for a little while. So today's date is May 10th. 2024 all right so i'm going to look at i'm sorry i'm going to look at products that are at least at least one year old and to do this i'm going to look at products that have been listed before may 10 2023 all right next thing i'm going to do is and this is just the prerequisite okay when i use the keeper product finder the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to look at products where amazon is out of stock more than 70 let's call it 60 75 percent of the time okay you can do 60 70 80 doesn't matter all right so um let's look at out of stock here's the filter here we go and we want at least 75 okay let's call it 75. by the way if you do not understand the keeper products finder quick introduction the Keeper Product Finder is a tool that allows you to sort Amazon product, to filter Amazon catalog, okay? The, um, the whole Amazon catalog of products, all right? So I'm using some, like, these these filters, I like to call them prerequisite, like, prerequisite criteria, because prerequisite filters, because it helps me make sure that my leads are good enough, okay? If I was, I was entirely, uh, like, if I was at, uh, at a time period where I'm only sending stuff to my prep center, like it was for nine months back when I was traveling all around the world, I would add, and we could do it today, okay? I want products that sells for at least, okay, for it to make sense for me, to me, I would need products that sells for at least $30, okay, at least, because I need to source something above $15, all right? So I need something that sells above $30, all right? So I'm going to use the new price at least $30, all right? So I would do this first thing, all right? So these are all my prerequisites, all right? Uh, I may also want to make sure that, you know what, the, that the sales ranks is under... 75,000. All right, let's call it 75,000. Uh, but we are going to look at the beauty category. So potentially I want something under this. Okay, so 50,000. Let's call it 50,000. Here we go. And so here's what we are going to start playing with. All right, and I'm sorry I was not showing you this. So I want the sales rank under 50,000. Uh, uh, a buy cost under uh, over $30. It's going to make more sense for me if I work with my prep center. The sales rank, I want to guarantee that this product is going to sell fast all right so regarding the new price we don't necessarily have to add the new price uh, as current you could do and i think it's a good thing to do it as um and i'm sorry here we go as um the 30 day average because we do not want a product that is on a price hike that is above 30 dollars it would not make any sense for you all right so um yeah so we can start from there all right this is the low end 30 dollars is going to be the low end as a sales price it's going to be the low end for what uh, for, for products that i'm going to send to my prep center all right, so that's the first step, okay? This is everything that I want to set up before I actually dive deep into the products that I'm currently, that I want to look for, all right? So let's assume that I was able to find this product on a sale on Macy's, all right? The thing that you need to understand is that whenever there are sales on a specific brand, on a specific website, on a generalist website, such as Macy's, not generalist, but you know, like on a website that sells multiple brand, multiple type of products. If you have a sale, and let's take beauty as an example. If you have a sale on Macy's, there's going to be a couple of websites where you may find the same sale, all right? So this is already one way to actually expand your, 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 you know, your, 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 this opportunity, right? So you may find the same exact sale on beauty products on Belk. And this is something that happens quite often. And if you've watched, yeah, if you've watched until here, we are already eight minutes deep in the video, so I don't give a, I don't care if I give you a, a crazy tip because this is something that you will see really often. Okay, whenever there's a sale on the on the beauty product on Macy's, quite often you'll see some products or some adjacent products that are actually on sale at the same times on um, on on Bell because you know those websites, those, those brands, those companies work with the brands, and so it may be time. You know they may have too much stock. They may it may be time to reduce the price a little bit because the, 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 those those brands are actually running uh, promotions. So this may be why they are going on sale at the same time, right? So that's a big deal. But 
it's not the only thing, okay? And especially, it can help you as well if you are sourcing a brand website. So let's say you were sourcing directly from Macy, from Mac Cosmetic. I'm sorry. Uh, it would help you a lot because it is going to help you filter through a lot of products fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for products specifically for from that brand. So I'm going to go to the to the brand filter. Here we go. I'm going to look at Mac Cosmetic. And it may not be written like this. Usually Mac Cosmetic... It's going to be written like this. Here we go. So we have Mac right there. More than 1,000 products. So this is, and of course, nothing pulls up this way. Um, let me look at what brand, what is the brand registered under? It's MAC, okay? No points, no nothing. MAC. Here we go. And we do not see, we do see it right there. All right, and we have 53 products to look at, okay? So these would be products that match all criteria that we could source either from Macy's, from Belk, or from uh, the Mac Cosmetic website, all right? So this is the first strategy that you would do, and you would look at, like, if you are able to clearly define what the product that you are looking for is, you are going to have like, this is going to be gold. This search is going to be gold. As long as you can find those products on sale, if they're on sale on the same exact website or some competitor's website, you are going to be able to find a couple more products to using this strategy, okay? Make sure to use the same exact filters, okay? So add this on top. If every single time, by the way, I'm going to say this because we are going to have a couple of different strategies that we are adding day after day to this specific strategy. All right. And I hope that you've been watching these videos every single day. But <clears throat> if we add, you know, it's just about adding a small thing on top of what we have, another small thing on top of what we have, another small thing on top of what we have. And so to go back to a whiteboard right so this sale that you know we spent three euros okay we spent three euros making fifty dollars all right with that initial with that initial sourcing that we did okay we were potentially able to find you know we were able to turn those fifty dollars into those three hours of work that turned into fifty dollars into three hundred dollars right here we go. Those $300, we were able to double this by finding another product that we could buy the same exact quantity of, okay? So those $300 turned into $600, all right? So now, by using this extra strategy right here, I'm potentially able to find, if I can find one other product, and you see how fast it is going to, how fast it is going to go up, okay? So if I'm able to find another product at $50 using this strategy, I'm going to turn this because you need to understand that these fifty dollars turn into three hundred dollars, and so for every single product that you find, it's going to be another fifty dollars on the first order, which is an, uh, an extra three hundred dollars. And I know I'm writing on top of stuff right there, but it's going to be an extra three hundred dollars. Okay, uh, an extra three hundred dollars. So you end up with I'm writing on top of stuff. You end up with six hundred dollars. Okay, and right now the only thing that we do is adding more strategies to find more leads from that specific sale that we only had $50 that we only made $50 from, we are adding strategies because just an extra $50 right now that we made today, okay, by doing this, by doing this small, like t t t t this little sourcing, another $300, another $50 is going to turn in another $300, okay, right here, all right, that is going to make our total $900 instead of $600. So in total, we will have $900 of profit just with those three hours of work. because the thing that is going to take you the most time by the way is this this is what's going to take you the most time it's finding a good sale to source and by the way and i want to add this all right if you have if you have my target list okay my target list it is going to make oh my god i'm typing wrong here we go if you have my target list it's going to make your life way easier finding a great source a, a, a great sale to source okay because you have every single sale that is currently going on and go back to the first video because you want to look mainly for sales for 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 sales and not clearance and so my target list outline everything okay so great resource to have if you want to become serious with your amazon business don't get it if you are not planning to source for online arbitrage every single day there's no point in it if you do if you want to go all in with online arbitrage you either need to build your own target list and this is what helped the most people in my coaching groups because by the way yes i have coaching groups you want to build a target list or just get mine because it's going to save you a ton of time. It's just $1 a day for something that takes you at least two to three hours a day to not have something as extensive as this that is delivered to your inbox every single day. 
all right so uh that not ex as extensive as this i'm sorry I'm not, i was not even showing it to you but yeah you get the idea all right so yeah that's pretty much another strategy that you can add on top. And tomorrow we are going to look at another strategy and uh, to actually add on top as well on the next video. So I'll see you inside and watch the next video uh, and keep sourcing, keep making more.